Okay, <laughs> I got one earring. It's just supposed to be this dainty thing that threads through and then a cuff connects right here. I don't wear earrings very often, so I was trying, <laughs> I was in the process of re-piercing my ear. So here's the cuff and here's the thread part. And as you can see, there is no needle attached to the end of this. You wanna know where it is? Right there. <laughs> I was in the middle of trying to get the back hole open and I felt it just fall into my hand and I was like, oh. Yeah, so that is the situation I'm working with right now. Well, how is it attached on there? There's really no loop. At the end is just a typical earring piece. Was it just glued on there? <laughs> I'm so lost. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot more rubbing alcohol on my ear because that was rough. Oh, hey, look, I'm in a different location than I normally am. I'm downstairs. Also, I'm switching it up by actually talking while I'm in the clothes. Let me know how this works out. First item, it's this shirt that says Othowen. Don't know what that means. And then directly underneath this lettering, it says the sun watches what <laughs> yeah, I can't read upside down. The sun watches what I do, but the moon knows all my secrets. I didn't even notice that that is what the word said underneath this. I only noticed it today when I tried it on. Pretty cool. I think this is called acid wash pattern. I got this in the men's section. I love buying clothes in the men's section. It's super oversized. All my measurements and stuff will be linked in the description. I don't think there's anything on the back. It's just this is not see-through. I'm standing in natural light right now. Anything that's see-through will get exposed on camera. I also got jewelry in this haul. And with this one, I paired this dainty little necklace that has beads attached. I don't have a whole lot of basic jewelry that I can wear and I felt this would be perfect. It doesn't feel too flimsy, but at the same time, I feel like if I were to look up abruptly or something, this would just go off of my neck. Then I also got these little rings. It came in a set of 10. Two of the rings were too big for any of my fingers. It's hard with like generalized packs like this because look, that's that could fit over that ring. Are you kidding? I think my fingers are a size five for reference. I mean, no one's really gonna notice that they're super cheesy rings unless they're straight up in your hands and are like, wow, look at that ring, it's so cheesy. I got was this cargo skirt. When I first took it out of the packaging, I was a little bit skeptical on whether I would like it or not. It just looks like a flat slab of material with pockets and a bunch of stuff hanging off of it. Honestly, now that it's on and I have this little section tied on, it actually looks pretty decent. You have to thread this part to right here by yourself, but it's easy to take off because it does just have the and then you have the zipper that goes all the way down the front and then there's a zipper at the bottom too. You got two pockets that are functional. And then I think the back is just plain. It doesn't have anything, does it? Feels like it's kind of pleated at the top. It has a paper bag top to it too. Doesn't come with undershorts, so when you're walking, this will just move. You're supposed to thread this yourself. Mm. All right, not doing that right now, but <laughs> you get the point. So instead of that, you get that. All right, and then the last part of this outfit are these, oh my God, are these shoes. Can't think of the material off the top of my head. It's like a rain boot style though. It has a zipper that goes all the way down to there. The heel is about two and a half, three inches high. I'm not a huge heel gal, but these shoes actually make me feel pretty comfortable. I got a size 39 and I'm usually a size seven, which I think translates to a 38. So I sized up and I'm really glad I did because these fit absolutely perfect. When I stand, it feels like my heel's slightly off, if that makes any sense, but not to the point where I wouldn't wear these at all. When they arrived, I noticed that they did have rub marks on them from someone trying to wipe something off. And then there's a dirty piece right there. Not enough to bother me. I'm not terribly picky when it comes to this sort of stuff. I'm glad I got the size in the skirt that I did and I'm glad I got the shirt in the size that I did. On to the next one. So next up, we have just a basic black shirt. I think it fits perfectly. I need more basics in my closet because for cute skirts like this, it's kind of hard to match when they have graphic designs on them because 
the colors would clash. From what I can tell, it's not see-through. The top is like a mock turtleneck because it is pretty stretchy. I also got a little bit more jewelry. This is as wide as this necklace gets. And then this one's on the tightest one that it can go. This necklace is the same style as that silver one. This one is just a chain with a circle in the center. have this skirt. I adore this skirt. It's the perfect length, the back. It's that plaid pattern with greens and reds and navies running through it. And then it has these adorable buttons running down it. Oh yeah, they're just sewn on. It comes with shorts underneath it and you have a zipper in the back to help put it on. The shorts underneath do right up, so be weary of that. I hope you can see all the colors and stuff. Sorry, I had to switch up the setup because my camera is refusing to focus. Another piece of jewelry we have. It's a bracelet and it has a ring with a bead skewered through the center of it at the end. You have a moon that dangles, depending on how big your wrists are and stuff. Mine's on the last class that you can put it on. Beautiful, it looks like the universe. I was not going to get this one because I see a lot of other people do hauls using the same cardigan, but holy crap, it's for a reason. I love basic cardigans that I'm able to just throw on. That crunching sound is the tag. Or not. And the inside, it's just that really soft, fuzzy, cozy material, and it goes all the way through the cardigan. And you have the buttons that are also brown running down. It is functional, you can button it up if you want to. The sleeves are super puffy. If I put my arms inside the sleeves, they go down this far. Back ends right about there, which for a cardigan is really nice. It's so cozy. It's literally the coziest thing ever. Next look, we have here a men's t-shirt yet again. <laughs> I really wanted this in black, but it was sold out. So these are shorts and this is where the shirt ends. It's really comfy. It's, you can see the outline of my bra and I think you might be able to see the color a little bit. It just has a little teddy bear on the front, the shading, really nice sketch. I hope it doesn't shrink. I'm gonna wash it in cold water just in case because I really don't want it to shrink. Now on to the top portion of this outfit. I'm gonna talk about this beanie before I talk about the wig. This is the beanie. It says, you, you can read it for yourself right there. Perfect. Usually I don't like wearing beanies. In fact, this one kind of has that weird thing going on. I just feel like it's gonna stay on my head and it's not gonna keep slipping back like, you know, beanies do sometimes. And I like the colors. Now I'm gonna take this beanie off. I actually really like that. That's the first time I tried it on. <laughs> Let me fix this. So here are the ear things. If I pull them up to where they're supposed to be, the part's kind of weird looking. Like it doesn't go down the center. The bang length on me is absolutely perfect. I don't think I'm gonna need to trim it, which is nice because trimming things is not my forte. I might want to straighten this wig out in the future, but right now I think it's kind of cute the way it flips. My last Yes Style wig was actually really nice and I enjoyed it a lot before I cut it and ruined it. It actually kind of looked like this after I got done cutting it because it's pretty symmetrical. It's a nice dusty gray with some yellowish tone. And it's really nice for wearing with a beanie or something. As you saw, it makes it look pretty realistic. bangs on this wig are way too long. But I decided to wear these glasses just so I can keep the bangs from getting in my eyes. We have this adorable sweatshirt from the men's section. It's that baby blue. It has a teddy bear on it. Drawstrings, which aren't tied at the end, so it might come undone. Sleeves go down to there. My hands are straight. I'm wearing the same shorts underneath it. And then the sweatshirt goes down over them about that much. It has that same soft fuzzy material as the cardigan and I'm in love. It must be printed or something, but it looks like it would be painted on. This is a lettering. You can pause to read it if you really want to. Majority of it is a dusty rose color, but then at the bottom you can really see how the pigment jumps out. It's really soft. I don't find that it's shedding a whole lot more than any other wig I've received. Like 
hairs still come out. And I haven't brushed it yet or anything. Even ignoring the side pieces because they're supposed to be longer, the center pieces would go right in my eyes and I'm not a fan of that. Easy enough to just brush them to the side and then I can always trim the center later. And then the part isn't too unnatural looking. Sorry, I wanted to take the wig off so I could showcase the glasses a little bit better. They have a basic black frame going across the top and then it switches to silver at the bottom and then it has rubber stops. Goes and switches to silver or something like right there. They don't cover my eyebrows, which is a bonus because the glasses that I wear right now actually cover my eyebrows. <laughs> but this one has a nice switch up of contrast between the black and the silver. The ones I own now that are actually prescription, they don't have rubber stops. They just have black pegs and they always slide down my nose to the point where they basically fall off my face. Well, I really got these frames as a tester to see if I liked them well enough to put prescription lenses in them. What do you guys think? Should I uh, put prescription lenses lenses in these and then switch these to my everyday glasses. Next item we have is this sweatshirt, also from the men's section. <laughs> this is kind of weird and unconventional, which is why I liked it. It's split down the center and half of it is white and half of it is black. There's no graphic design or anything. It reminds me of a yin yang sign. I like that color blocky thing different. It's super oversized. I absolutely love it. And this is how far down it goes past those. It has that same fuzzy soft material on the inside. It does not have drawstrings so you can't adjust that. I love hoods that give you enough space to like breathe in. They're not like that. And this is what it looks like. And it has front pockets. It's one big pocket. Sometimes sweatshirts will look like they have one big pocket but it's two ones put next to each other. I hate that. But no, it goes all the way through. We just have this boxy white t-shirt with a V neckline. Again, you can see the outline of my bra and I think it might be a little bit see-through. Yeah, it's pretty see-through. So just be cautious of that. It is very comfortable and it goes down a really nice length. Tuck it in if you wanted to and have it sticking out. It's definitely not like super oversized, but it is very comfortable. So this is the last item and it was really rough. <laughs> this is completely sheer. I was hoping that there would be just some sort of cloth to cover up your boobs, but there's not. So I have the sports bra on underneath it. I know it doesn't look cute with it, but I literally didn't know what else to put underneath this. You're supposed to lace it up, but you need someone else to do it for you. Unless you're just like a wizard at doing that sort of stuff, then good for you, because I'm not good at that. It would have been really cute because the lace is actually a pretty soft lace. I mean, this part's kind of itchy. When I was putting it on, something was stabbing me. It has these metal ribs lining it to kind of help keep its structure and whatnot. So when I was putting it on, the metal rods poked through the lace. It's cute the way that it flares out, the way that you have the option to lace up the back. Poorly executed in my opinion. The straps are adjustable too, so you could have adjusted those to how you wanted them. I mean, you still can. You can adjust them to how you want them if you choose to get the shirt. Also with the metal rod, if I like lean or do, ow! Like, <laughs> it poked me. Get the shirt at your own risk. I guess you could wear it over the top of a shirt if you're into that sort of style. So that was the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Huge shout out to YesStyle. Thank you so much for including me in your fashion icon program thing. I really appreciate it. And if you guys feel like you want any of the things that I've showed throughout all my YesStyle hauls, feel free to use my code YSKayla10 for $10 off a $49 US purchase. <laughs> Literally, I had to try that so many times, I'm sorry. It's also gonna be down in the description, so feel free to check that out if you'd like. Let me know what you think about this setup rather than the ones that I've done previously. Still editing my Hawaii vlog, so that'll be up very shortly. And I have a bunch of other YouTube video ideas that will be coming soon, so stay tuned. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see anything from me. My Instagram is at adventure17. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.